Welcome back, everybody, to Kingdom New Lands. I am your host, Lord Falcon of the Purple Cape King lineage. Anyway, all that aside, we're on our way to land number five right now. I did a little bit of um, revisiting of old lands off camera. The reason why I did this is because I didn't want to go ahead and like um, repeat lands with you guys as well. Like I don't want you to, like you know go through that whole grind. So off camera, I went through land two and three a couple of more times to unlock a few other things for us over here. As you see that over there on my back, you see that creature behind me? <laughs> it's not a creature, it's actually a, one of the hermits. That is the hermit that allegedly lets you build bakeries which attracts um, peasants over your area without you having to go all the way over there to recruit them. So it will attract peasants to your land, and then once they're over here, you get to recruit them by tossing a coin on them. I heard this was really important for land number five because the peasant farm RNG over here can be Brutal. I've read a lot of horror stories about land number five, so I need to be really good and ready to go with this one here. So, all that aside, let's go into land number five. I Let me tell you right now, I am worried. You guys have told me some horrible things about land number five, and I'm really worried about it here. So, first and foremost, let me go ahead and recruit you one more time before you run off and get lost somewhere. Um, Slimer King, where's the... to the left-hand side, are you telling me? Uh, no, 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 excuse me. You come along with me. Don't get lost. The Hermits have a tendency to unoccasionally just drop behind your back out of nowhere, and you lose track of them completely, and that's how they get kidnapped by the Greed. And if they get kidnapped by the Greed, it's um, game over for them. You don't see them anymore in that map. So, in order for us to survive land number five, the Baker's going to be really important if, if, our peasant farms are behind portals, because I've heard that this land has a tendency to have peasant farms behind portals. So in order for you to recruit anybody else, you'd have to essentially bring down a portal. That triggers a really crazy attack, you know, so on and so forth over here. So let's start off over here by grabbing another archer and maybe one more farmer for us to get ready over here. And unfortunately, we cannot upgrade you anymore. We have to wait another day to bring up the tents over here, unfortunately, but that's fine. Let's come out here and investigate. We have another dog. Dogs over here work as uh, replacements for the ones you actually have, so that's cool. Uh, let me bring a couple of these trees down so we have some wildlife over here starting to spurt. And let's find out what's over here. Oh man, I'm seeing no farms already. I'm thinking portal pretty soon. We can't pick up that money, so let's not actually stop by it. Oh man, oh man. You guys, like, I'm paranoid because you guys have told me some really scary things about land number five. And that's the reason why I had to go through the old lands to make sure I was ready for it. I went sure, I made sure that we have all the money imaginable for land number five to start off with. I made sure that we have all the troops manageable for land five because if we're limited to only starting with our crew to kind of get through a first or second portal, we're going to definitely have to um, rely on this baker a lot over here. So you brought all this down. That's great. You're bringing this down. Um, can't bring this tree down right now, really? Why is that? Hmm, okay. Can't bring that one down just yet. Might as well bring down this tree over here. You guys are hunting, semi-hunting in a sense. Once this tree is down, we'll move our perimeter over here as soon as possible. We might as well... Actually, no, no. Let's hold off on that. I think we might be able to hold off on that for a bit longer here. No upgrade just yet. Where is, um, Mule Guy? Huh, Mule Guy could be really useful early on, but he's not around. Let's go ahead and bring down some of these trees as well. Over here, we have a little bit of a cottage. This is one of the Hermit plus spots right here. Now, I'm not sure if this is the Hermit that I have on my back, or it's the one that lets you build the Ballista. I also unlocked the Ballista guy, which is actually really useful, especially for late-game raids, so I'm actually looking forward to that one. I'm not going to invest in the boat anytime soon, because I want to make sure that we have enough gold for all the upgrades here. <laughs> Uh, why are you guys here so early? Look, take two coins and just leave. Just take the coins and leave for now, okay? And over here we have Hermit number two. So you know what? If we lose the Hermit we have on our back right now, we might actually be able to replace it because we have another Hermit spot for it right here. And as you could pr Oh, we actually have a peasant farm in front, of, uh, in front of a portal. That's actually really lucky. I hear that doesn't really happen too often in land number five, so we kind of lucked out here a little bit. I think we definitely go for this upgrade as soon as possible as well. How far? There's your portal right there. Okay. Okay, so that's upgraded now. Let's go ahead and recruit you as well. That's fine. Making sure what I could tear down in time and what I can't. Mmm, trees over here can be cut down, but you know what? That's even beyond our borders here at the moment, so I'm going to hold off on that. A lot of these trees are beyond our borders, actually. 
But it doesn't really hurt to kind of start working on them, especially because we know for a fact that the... Great already attacked, so we're fine. You know what? Let's bring down a couple of these um, trees. To my knowledge, it doesn't matter if you cut down the trees around the, the houses of the hermits. They actually do stay around. So it's not like the, the farms or the mule guy who... Whenever you cut down the area around them, they disappear. These guys actually do stick around, as long as the greed don't actually um, take them kidnapped, I guess. So that's cool. We brought down a couple more trees here. Hopefully we'll have a couple of my builders run off here pretty soon at some point. Come on, guys. I need you to build down. There you go. So you go work on that. I'll be with you soon. Now, we have a farming area around here not too far. I also need some grass for this guy. Let's bring you down, bring you down. And if we have enough gold right now, we should be able to get a level 2 upgrade. And hopefully trigger farm dude pretty soon, because we're going to have to rely on farming. Money's going to be really important. Now, I've heard that in land number 5, you could actually unlock the unicorn. And the unicorn is really useful for giving you money on the fly. Like, apparently, he, he literally shits gold. <laughs> That's what I read from you guys. He shits gold, allegedly. So, we'll see about that. Where did you come from, little guy? Well, I'm not sure, but let's turn, let's turn you into a hunter. We have two guys coming from the right-hand side. That much we know. Oh, did I not? Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. So we have to wait out here for a while. Essentially, my goal for this map is going to be very, very slow, not aggressive. If we get aggressive with this map, it could spell doom for us early on. So we're going to have to go really slow, build up perimeters on every single area for the most part. So if we have to retreat from an attack, at least we have... Thank you, my friend. At least if we get, like, overrun, we could drop back from one wall to another wall until we essentially finally get rid of the attacks. Because that's essentially what happened for land number four. We were in a, in a tough situation because... When we started retreating over and over, there was big gaps in between our walls. So, it would push us back all the way to the back and we would have any chance to actually do that, so... Um... So far, it doesn't seem like we have any sort of hunter statue or builder statue in front of a portal. Which is kind of bad. Um, I've heard that with the archer statues, I've been going about it a little bit wrong here. For the most part, you don't have to necessarily upgrade into level 3 for stronger attacks. Essentially, how that works out... Really, realistically, like I thought it was different, but if you donate into it once, it'll last for like maybe one day. If you do two, it'll last for two days. Three, you do it'll last for three days. So it doesn't really make it any stronger. It just makes it more potent for it to last longer as we go forward here. And over here we have a farm that's going to be very useful. When I get a farm here as soon as possible. Now the problem is, if do we make this a uh, daytime farm or a nighttime farm? I would prefer nighttime farm, but for that to happen. We would need a wall somewhere up here up front, and we're not seeing one, like, whatsoever, huh? Okay. So I think we continue going to the right until we find... Here we go, here's a perimeter right here. Okay, so that should be our right-hand perimeter. We'll build... As a matter of fact, we might even be able to get two farms behind the wall on the right. Pretty useful. Of course, we do need the hands on deck for that to actually happen. Alrighty. Got a little bit of money here. Where's the attack coming from, puppers? Left or right? You're Charles Barkley number two. Your your original dog man, or at least our original dog man, got actually kidnapped. Right hand side is what you're saying? How many on the right hand side? Are you sure about this, pups? You know, he could be right. We could have actually brought it could have been from the right, but since these guys have been cutting down trees, they might have um, picked up the coins left over from those guys cutting down trees, because that happens sometimes. Hmm. No attack. Alrighty. Well, I'll just chop it up as a victory on my part for now. Here's another perimeter as well. Okay. More trees that are cuttable. But for now, I want to get that farm up and running. Now, for the baker, the faster we... For the baker, what you have to do to get a bakery up and running, you have to get the... The archer perch, you know, where you essentially put archers to kind of snipe zombies, or not zombies, but the greed from. Um, you have to level it up to max level. After it's max level, you upgrade it one more time, and then bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a bakery. And that's going to lure in any sort of peasant from whatever site you decide to actually build it from. Now, let's get a couple of this over here happening. Mm, we need one more for the farm, don't we? Okay. And, as well as the farm, we're also going to be relying a lot on our samurai friend, which I haven't really used to properly, but I figured out off-camera how to play him correctly. And he could actually pay off 
amazingly for you. As a matter of fact, his interest rates are actually really good. Assuming you have enough money to pay him off early. If you could actually like invest a lot of money in that guy early, he will drop so much money for you going forward. It's a, it's a long-term investment, though, so you definitely need a lot of upstart money in order to kind of get the most benefit from him. Over here, I kind of want to stretch my perimeter to the left-hand side as well, because there is a lot of land over here for us to kind of cut through. And more importantly... More importantly, if we cut down these trees, we'll have a couple of um, little rabbits down here, and we could have our hunters just hunt them down. So... Bring this down really quickly. What day are we? Number three? Oh, man. I, I just got, like, this really, like, terrible feeling in my stomach, in the pit of my stomach right now. Because I really don't want to lose, man. I really want to beat this game in one run. The upside is, if we were to lose, our progress is still saved. I could essentially do the training level again and then jump over to land number five and go at it one more time. So, it's not the end of the world, but technically speaking, it would be a feather in my cap if we actually get this done in one go. So let's actually move the perimeter out here. And this seems to be a lot of greenery for my hunters to kind of hunt going forward. And while we're here, I think we might actually go ahead and also upgrade level 2 for this wall. Not really my priority here at the moment, because I do want to recruit those um, peasants we have back in the town center here, but getting these hunters out here could be useful. And this is where the upgrades really work out. You see how many times he misses? Whenever you buff them up, they're a lot more accurate and their shots hurt a lot more too. And that's what really hurts out the hunters early on without the buffs, because they're really inaccurate. Okay. Let's come back over here and can we upgrade this now? We can. We have at least two more peasants just running around. Um, We didn't set up the perimeter out here, did we? So here's a farm. Any cash from you? Ooh, nice. I'll take it. Where, pup? I can't see you. Where were you barking at? Left or right? I prefer left right now because we do have a stronger defense on the left-hand side here at the moment. Hmm. Well, can't tell you where that guy's um, actually bark. Oh! This side, huh? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and- <gasps> No! Fuck! Shit! I waited too long. I waited absolutely too long. I'm so upset right now. Luckily for us, not the end of the world. Generally speaking, we weren't going to set up that bakery anytime soon because we're really low on cash here at the moment. So we do know there's another um, hermit to the right-hand side. We're not sure which one it is, but we have two of them over here, which is the ballista one and also the one for the bakery. Now, this means that I messed up already. So if I lose the the other farmer, or not the other farmer, but the other baker, then we definitely cannot lure peasants from outside farms over to us. However, it's not the end of the world, too, because luckily for us, we do know there's at least one farm in front of a portal. So I did luck out on that one for um, map number five. Oh, yeah, that sucks so much. Yeah, essentially, whenever you get hit... Uh, you don't lose coins. I would like it if you lose the Hermit after you lose all your coins, and then you probably lose the, the crown, but no, no. Even if you have coins and you get hit by them, you lose the Hermit first, and then you lose the money. So it's a bit unfortunate, but it happens. Alrighty, so this is my perimeter. Trees in the background go away so I can set up this perimeter now. Starts farming here a little bit. Come on. And I want to run to the right and see if we can pick up another peasant or two over there. Come on. There we go. I'll be back for you. I'll be back. Um... Cut down more of these trees if you can. Alrighty. Oh, that sucks so bad. So, it's either, it's either going to be this one or the one before this one. It's going to be the, the baker. But I'm not going to go ahead and invest into what I know for a fact will be safe, and I'm not going to, like, bumble it up again. Here's my peasant farm. Great. I'm lucky we ran into this before uh, an actual portal, though. Okay. Pretty decent amount of cash on us, I gotta say. So let's go back over here, we'll upgrade our town one more time, bring out the samurai dude. I guess the tax collector would be more ideal. But we'll bring him out, and we start investing soon. And we hope that he pays off well for us going forward. Nice. Now we have another perimeter out there if we wanted to, and we're going to probably grab that at some point. Now we are lacking builders as you can see. They're kind of stretched a little bit thin here at the moment. So I'm thinking at least one more builder is what we're going to make, and then we start making the farmers. And I guess we'll start right here with farm number one. 
any cash from you guys? Thank you. Very useful right now. Very useful for our hunters to actually do some work for us because... Got no actual farms just yet. But we'll have at least two farms on the right-hand side. So, you fellas, not just yet. We have two here and two coming up. That would be enough for at least one fully-fledged farm, but... For now, I think we sacrifice two of these for workers and archers. And then, we grab this upgrade here. And then we have two more coming up, right? Those will indeed be our first farmers. So I think in a sense we even start setting this up now. Okay. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Here's Samurai Guy. I could start investing right now, and I will. Now, early on, it's not really too favorable. The more money you put in, the more money you get back. If you don't put in too much money, it's going to be a really small payoff. It's going to be not really too existent for us, not really too apparent. Um, any extra hunters over here? Yeah. And the lands over here are growing quite well, so maybe... Yeah, there you go. No more hunters over here, though, huh? That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay. Where, where are you going, um... Builder dude. <laughs> There's nothing over here for you, Hammer Bro. So the attacks from your left hand side. Charles Barkley number two. Should we call you Sir Barkley two, or are you gonna be just junior? Not sure which one we're gonna name this guy for now, but. Alrighty. Alright, we already have the stone upgrade too, so we can go into stones. There you go, brought down that deer too. Great. Uh, we won't do that right now because it's late, so we won't get that uh, wall up and running in time. Here's them little critters. Poppers, get behind the wall. Excuse me. Builder, behind the wall as well. Good. Night number four. Do you think this wall will hold? Or do we go with stone already? Let's go with stone. Uh, I'm a bit upset that we didn't get Mule Man for this one. It must mean he either didn't spawn in this map, or he's just way too far, so the trip over from wherever he's at to our home base is just too far to, for it to be even, like, um, profitable for us here. That would be our stone upgrades for our little perimeters in the town, which isn't too bad. Um, okay. Those are the two farmers that we got at the end here. We might get some rain, which indicates the blood moon. No, I guess we'll get into day number six, huh? Alrighty. Let's get our farm up and running, then. Now, we'll only have two farmers for this farm here going forward. The only other way this could work out... ...is if I recruit some more over here, and I guess we probably will give it a shot. Try to give it a shot anyway. Maybe we have like one more peasant over there now available. I need to get back in time as well to kind of invest more into the samurai too. Samurai 2. Something is a sequel or something. I'm a sequel to the Samurai line. I'm Samurai number 2. You've probably met my cousin in the other land. He's Samurai number 5. We don't really come in order. We're just very just non-complacent. You know, our orders don't really matter here at the moment. Hunters, keep doing your thing. Keep expanding more, man. I'm really upset that this land over here is not fruitful for us. I'm not sure if you have to set up the little perch for that to happen or not. It just seems like this land is just very not um, profitable for hunting rabbits. We might have to actually push it a bit forward. I guess. I'd rather not do that, but we might have to. So we have at least one more farmer coming up this way. I'll make another site, and we'll invest into Samurai Dude. As I mentioned, this is going to be a lot slower of a run, because if I play aggressive, we're basically done. As you see, the payoff is not really too worthwhile here at the moment. Not until we start getting some big stacks. So, third farmer set up like so. Okay. Mm, do I invest in you or no? Well, you know what? No, not yet. I think what we do... We start getting our... Our little... Launchers up and running. <laughs> oh, one coin left over. Well, that's enough. That's enough for me to take one hit before I lose the crown. Okay, so we'll get our catapults over here up and running. Tell me you've done some hunting over here, please. And that'll do. What about you? You're even further out. Thank you. Very useful. You see over here, this is over here growing in really nicely. It's the right-hand side. It's completely barren. Now, that could grow over time, that little barren land we saw over on the right-hand side. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not really sure. Thank you for that. Very useful. 
So right now we're just living off of the hunting. And we still need one more farmer to completely stock up that farm. And I want to do that, but at the same time, I feel like we also need more builders. Because at the moment, I think we only have like three. We have one pushing the catapult to the left-hand side. We have two all the way over here. That's my third farmer. Thank you for that. Now, are there any builders by the walls? Because we know there's three right now pushing catapults. You guys barely started, so I don't expect any payment from you just yet. Yeah, none over here right now. So we're completely stretched in when it comes to the builder side of things. Alright, so we have some patchy grass here, but I'm not seeing any of the... Oh, here we go! We have our first little field of rabbits, and we have two of them. Excellent! So it definitely has grown in. Great. So any extra hunters over here should bring in some cash rows down the line once we start hunting those rabbits down. Very good. And we have Blood Moon tomorrow. Tomorrow's the old Blood Moon. So let's take advantage of it now. Hopefully we have another... Little peasant just wandering around. I'm not sure when I want to start building that farm. Or not that farm, but that baker. Oh, two of you! Even better. One builder and one more farmer. Alright, sweet. Then, assuming we start getting in some profits from our farm and from our hunting, we can start investing in the samurai man. It's going to keep us kind of like really stock and fat with cash as we go forward. And we could do good. Could do good. Here's our rain. Definitely blood moon today. I really want to get the stone upgrade. The problem is we only have one... Well, we have two dudes pushing the catapult over here. When any luck, maybe one of them releases the catapult and runs over here to build this wall. If not... Um, they should be able to make it in time, I hope, right? You guys will make it in time, you think? Or pump those legs. Alright, here's my fort farmer. And... You get a little bit of money for me, not enough, though. And we'll get the extra builder. Okay. So, technically speaking, we should have now two builders in each side. We have two pushing a catapult on the right-hand side. What do we have in the left? On the left, we have two as well. Okay. And then we're going to have a fifth one, which will be our floater going forward. Okay. Now, you guys need to pay off crazy for me here at the moment. No. Nothing yet, huh? Oh, I'll take that. Shoot this one right here. Come on. Shoot him. Yeah. All right. Where's your friend at? Mm, your friend isn't here at the moment. Um, I could push the builders on this side to kind of run over here and do a little bit of cutting. I don't think that's too far from the perimeter. It's going to be a problem, is it? They ain't doing it at all. That might be left over for the fifth one that we got then. Oh, that's not good because we'll, lo we'll lose the fifth one essentially by doing that. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Alrighty. Well, at least the catapult's over here in place. Now, my worry is going to be the right-hand side. Do I have enough for an investment? You know what? No, no. I think we hold off and we get more cash. Here is going to be the extra farmer that we need, and then the extra builder. You know what? I'm going to renege on that. If I let him become a builder, he's going to go to the left-hand side and knock those trees down and get an, um, basically wrecked by the greed. So I'm going to turn him into an um, archer instead. Not that it hurts. I mean, we could definitely use a few more archers to kind of hunt for us. Here we go. Thank you, farmers. Uh-oh. Are you guys really not at the Pemurias yet? Guys, like, for real. You gotta, like, get this wall up and ring soon. Yeah, load it up and hurry up. If we get attacked on the right-hand side, this could be bad. Where's, um, Charles Barkley II? Where's the attack from, doggy? Left? You look left. You're looking left. Bark left, please. It doesn't matter. I think we'll get this wall done in time. Oh, he barked right now. I just didn't see what location he barked at. We have four. Ooh! Oh, baby. Okay. We're spilling money now. It's not good to spend money at the moment because we are very low on cash. So let's not make sure we're not spending it. Here you You guys pick it up. I'll come back for it later. Okay. Hey, you know what? This is a really great start for line number five, I gotta say. I mean, I don't want to necessarily, like, tip my hat just yet and, like, you know, jinx myself here. But so far, pretty good. Alrighty. It doesn't seem we're being attacked from the right-hand side. It probably would have happened by now. I'm thinking left. Let's get... Upgraded here. 
Once Samurai pops up, we load this guy full of money, and he starts paying off extremely well for us in the future. This is where we attack, and we held off the first attack. Swell. Very good job, guys. I don't think it's a bad idea to even get the big-ass wall up and running as soon as possible, but I'm gonna hold off because I really want to invest in Samurai Guy. And we'll let Samurai Guy, essentially, his little tax dividends will kind of pay off for a really strong walls in the future, so that's fine. You're building the new strong walls here. Here's Samurai, dude. Okay, man. This is all you. Grab all that extra money. Now, unfortunately for us, he's not going to give me... We're not going to see a big change from him until tomorrow. That's it. So we paid off three times. That's going to be a better investment for us. We have a little bit of cash left over. I want to run to the right-hand side and get those peasants. Maybe we have one or two waiting for us. We'll see. But we're going to wrap it up here for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support me a lot. Land number five. So far, so good. Let's not jinx it yet, but so far, so good. I will catch you next time.